Okay guys, so we finally made it to Arizona and we're at this awesome spot. It's so beautiful. This man just pulled up and he was like, did you guys see a dog anywhere? And we were like, no, not at all. We've been here for the past like hour. We haven't seen a dog. He was telling us that he let both of his dogs out here. And I guess that he thought they both got back in the car, but they didn't. So he was already like an hour away or something. I don't know. He had to drive all the way back. And he said he was like hoping she didn't get hit by a truck or something. And as he was saying that, we see a dog come running out of the bushes right there. And we were like, there, there she is. And oh my gosh, that was crazy. She didn't come out the whole time we were here. So she was just hiding, like poor thing was probably so scared. It was probably like terrible news to him when he heard that we didn't see her. But then she came out when she heard his voice. So thank God, like I'm so glad he found his dog and that she was alive. That was just the craziest thing to witness. I wish we would have been filming, but yeah, this place is so, beautiful this is this is arizona like i can't wait for the rest of what we're going to see because this is this is beautiful <laughs> wow guys it's a wild ride out here in the wild west it's totally too spectacular subtracted probably like a thousand miles worth of normal bumps on a road in one little stupid savannah safari route. So this is one of the coolest things about car camping is you never know where you're gonna sleep and we ended up at this rest stop like this is literally a rest stop and they have like the red rocks everywhere. It's cool because the Walmart we were gonna stay at didn't allow overnight camping so that was kind of annoying but that's what led to this so the things that seem like bad in the moment are never actually that bad got to wake up with a beautiful view of red rocks i saw some that i didn't even see last night because it was so dark you know i could go inside to do this but that wouldn't be as fun We didn't go into the petrified forest, but we did stop at Stewart's Petrified Wood. And oh my gosh, the beautiful pieces. I can't even believe that this wood is real wood. The fact that this came from a tree, that's incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this one. This is so cool. So pretty. It has like a crystally type of feeling. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. And then we got to go to a spot that I've been wanting to go to for years, and it's the Wigwam Motel in Holbrook, Arizona. It was actually the inspiration for the Cozy Cone Motel in the movie Cars. I just, I think they're just so cool. Like, all my life I've wanted to, like, make a teepee, stay in a teepee, like a real one. And obviously the Wigwam Motel is, like, the closest you can get. But I just, 
I think they're just so cool. And I love how they have all the classic cars parked in certain spots. Like, that just adds to the classic, like, Route 66 vibe. And it just makes it a million times cooler. I just want all of these cars to myself. And one day, I will have them. <laughs> Although we only got to see 400 miles of it, Arizona has to be one of the coolest states we've been to yet. There's just so much beauty here. It's crazy. And we only got to see just a small, small part of it. And there's just so much beauty in so many different forms. There's so many different spots to explore. I cannot wait to go back to Arizona and explore the whole entire state. Like, I'm ready to pack my bags right now and go back to Arizona. <laughs> Look at that like little a, guy. Uh, Look at this. <laughs> this is so cool. Really? I still have so much from Arizona to show you guys, so stay tuned and thanks for watching. Peace.